to a brand new video here on the channel as I've been checking we're at 655 subscribers man and we're so close to 700 already it feels like it was only like four days ago that I reached 600 you guys are absolutely awesome and today we're gonna be revisiting a Kyrie Irving rebuild I know we've been doing that a lot actually we haven't done it in a while but a recent rumor has came out that the Suns have offered Eric Bledsoe Dragon Bender and a pick for Kyrie Irving so we're gonna do that today make it go through that's the only trade I will be overriding I promise I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off now and now we're gonna build or rebuild the Kyrie Irving Suns if he got traded to the Suns which uh, that's not one of the um, trade override on off and on okay that's not one of the um, teams Kyrie Irving wanted to be traded to so can you imagine a backcourt of Kyrie Irving and Devin Booker and they don't have to trade Josh Jackson that will be insane so that's a nice young team here uh, and Kyrie Irving should love to come to the Phoenix Suns. This would be his team. I mean, yes, Devin Booker's there, but this would be Kyrie Irving's team. He's just surrounded by talent. That's I think this is a perfect place for Kyrie Irving if he really considers it. But anyway, when you look at this team, um, a lot of these a lot of these players. I'm gonna go ahead and make it a nine man rotation. And a lot of these players are on some bad contracts. I know Brandon Knight doesn't have a very good contract. Wasn't Brandon Knight? Was he? I might be mistaken, but I thought he was waived the other day or traded the other day. I don't know. I might be tripping. I don't think that's true. I think it was... I must have been dreaming or something. I have no idea. But anyway, we're going to get rid of some of these bad contracts. There's only a couple or three here. So Jared Dudley, Tyson Chandler, Brandon Knight. We're going to get rid of those contracts real quick and uh, hopefully get some value in return. So Brandon Knight right now is a... We already have a backup point guard. Maybe we should get a center and a backup shooting guard off the bench for these two or for the Suns. So point guard... Uh, we already have Tyler Ulis as a backup. Tristan Thompson, J.R. Smith. That's actually pretty much what we need. We need a backup shooting guard, and we get a center. But I don't want Tristan Thompson's contract. Zach Randolph, Joakim Noah, Julius Randle, uh, Wesley Matthews, Reggie Jackson, Ryan Anderson, Patty Mills, and Danny Green. That's not too bad either, but I think this was the best offer given. Um, as much as I don't want these contracts, I will just dump them in the offseason uh really kind of a pointless trade if i'm trying to get rid of money which that was the whole goal but you know i took in money instead so i guess we'll just leave it how it is it made the team a little bit better i feel like and uh marquise chris josh jackson Devin booker kyrie irving tristan thompson tj warren alan william tyler ulis and jr smith now that's pretty solid let's go ahead and get rid of jared Dudley's contract at least since you know i kind of took in a bunch of money with that trade i just made but you know me just gonna try to get this money out of here okay so i guess this is the best offer given but other than that guys i just wanted to thank you guys for your guys's continuous support and big baller league didn't do too bad on the uh on the video yesterday so i am very grateful for that um we might do another episode next week like i said i'm only gonna do it probably once or twice a week it's not gonna be a regular thing hope you guys did enjoy if you haven't seen it already go make sure to check it out we are the trailblazers and i have clay thompson on my team so uh go ahead and check that out and uh I'm going to go ahead and simulate, and hopefully we're in the playoffs, led by Mr. Kyrie Irving himself. All right, so guys, at the end of the season, uh, I don't know if we're going to have anybody on these All-NBA teams. Probably not. I don't think the Suns have any rookies, do they? They Actually, yeah, Josh Jackson, what am I talking about? I'm like totally forgetting about Josh Jackson, so he's an All-NBA All-Rookie first team, um, and I think that's about it. So we didn't make the playoffs. We were at the 12th seed, so I didn't. we weren't well-equipped for the playoffs yet, but I thought Kyrie might be able to lead us there. So 27 points for Kyrie Irving, that is exactly what you want to see from a guy like that when he is claiming to want to lead a team. So other than that, I think um, a lot of this core is nice. Some of it needs to be changed out, obviously, and uh, we can get some nice couple pieces in uh, certain spots. And I think this team will be uh, set to make the playoffs next year, honestly, and then maybe win a championship. Kind of a stretch, uh, but I think if uh, the Suns were able to get Kyrie Irving in real life, I think that would be absolutely insane and definitely really nice for him. But... Kyrie Irving seems content with trying to trade or with trying to get traded to uh, those four teams he wanted to be traded to, so not much you can do about it, I guess. Um, draft lottery, we traded away our pick, so you know the Cavs are going to have our pick, which sucks and all. Wow. Nope. I'm sorry. Popovich, I'm going to go ahead and get you, because why not? Accepted. Okay. Now let's go to this draft, and uh, let's trade away these contracts. Uh, J.R. Smith, Tristan Thompson... Just don't really want you on my team, honestly. You're not part of the future plans. Um, love you here and all, but goodbye, guys. So where are you? Jared Smith, Tristan Thompson. You guys are under some big contracts. Going to trade you for some smaller ones or hopefully just some damn picks. Joe Ingles, Derek Favors. 
Um, Kenneth Fareed. Oh, uh, I don't see anything. Okay, so a lot of this is just taking up, taking on bigger contracts. Uh, geez, man. CJ Miles Surge. I don't want to take... <laughs> this was the smallest contract situation I saw. So I guess I'll take this, and I'm going to flip these two for some change, you know what I mean? So Bojan and Drew Justin Holiday. Please get off my team right now, dude. Please, I don't... Marcus Morris, that's pr probably the best. Uh, bring him back to the Phoenix Suns. Actually, let's just go ahead and give him the Denver. Although we're making Denver better with Bojan, but whatever. Um, NBA draft, nah, let's go rookie signing. Uh, we had the sec or we had second rounders. I thought they said we had the ninth pick for a second. I was like, what? Um, yeah, I'm good with keeping all these guys, obviously. And now we go into free agency. I really don't know how many, uh, how much cap space we have. I'm assuming a lot. Uh, I might be wrong though. 50, 50 million. And we have like pieces everywhere, so we have a lot of money to spend. So cool. I almost skipped over free agency. That would have been so bad. Okay. Anyway, let's see where we got big holes at. So we got. Um, Kyrie Irving and Tyler Ewis. Shooting guard Devin Booker, obviously. Josh Jackson is fine. Alan Williams and Marquise Chris are fine. Center is a big hole. So let's go ahead and get a center out here uh, in a very big center um, free agency. DeMarcus Cousins. Whoops. Uh, Joel Embiid. Let's do that. DeAndre Jordan. Wouldn't mind getting you either. Although I don't like the money you asked for. Um, shooting guard. We don't really have a backup shooting guard out here. Seth Curry would love you off the bench. Let's see what we got. DeAndre Jordan accepts other offer already. Seth Curry accepts. Now we got a bank on Joel Embiid, which sucks. I guess I better offer Brooke Lopez a contract just in case. Sign. Yes. We got Joel Embiid. Yep, he didn't. Yep, let's go. Uh, what's his face? 76ers didn't match. So we got Joel Embiid now. Awesome. And we got Seth Curry. So... 17 million still to spend. What do we got? So we got Tyler Eulis, uh, shooting guard Devin Booker, and Seth Curry, uh, Josh Jackson. We don't have a backup small forward, so I guess we could do that. And we don't have a backup center. So we can do one or the other, and we could get a probably salt, pretty small uh, backup as well. Um, Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay. Actually, I kind of like that. Rudy Gay as a backup small forward to Josh Jackson. I guess TJ Warren, if he comes back, we do have a backup small forward. So maybe I should look at centers. Uh, Clint Capella, Greg Monroe, Nerlens Noel, uh, Nurkic. No, nope. they they want some big money. They want some big bucks. Mason Plumley. I don't understand why this guy wants to come for this much money. I'm not going to get him, though, because I just don't want him. So, whatever. I mean, if we get uh, Rudy Gay, I'm actually cool with that. Because then we can trade Rudy Gay for something, maybe. Or just trade TJ Warren. Just kidding. We're not going to get Rudy Gay. Um, small forwards. Carmelo, you want to come to the team? No. Okay, Shabazz. Let's just go get a center. I, Nurkic, call it Mason Plumley. I guess is the best center out here. Let's get Mason Plumley. Um, Mark Aldridge, Carmelo, Dwayne Wade, Gary Harris, Clint Capella. Nothing, nothing really. Uh, like I really wish we would have gotten Rudy Gay. That would have been pretty nice, but nothing you could do about it. So I guess I'll go ahead and sign T.J. Warren. He won't have a no. He will have a no trade clause, so that kind of sucks, but it's cool. Um, I was going to see if Carmelo was going to come to the team now, but it doesn't look like it. Dwayne Wade, no. Okay, so I guess we're done with this free agency. We don't really have anybody else to get. So let's go ahead and simulate to player progression. Now, let's see how well player progression treats us, because depending on player progression is whether or not I'll make some big moves. Carmelo Anthony to the Mavericks is pretty interesting. I see that up in the top right-hand corner. That's pretty nice signing for the Mavericks. So let's see how player progression treats us. Kyrie Irving, or yeah, Kyrie Irving. Or Joel Embiid up two, Kyrie Irving up one, Devin Booker up one, Josh Jackson up one, TJ Warren up two, Mace Plumley. Ah, oh, this is a pretty solid team. Actually, everybody's just progressing. It's very nice and young. I just might keep it the way it is. I don't know if I'm gonna trade anybody because they're all young. And uh, 2K, usually how 2K works, when you have like two pieces that like are ball dominant, then you have a lot of role players on, around them. Usually does well in simulations, but you know. I could just be uh, talking and I uh, could be wrong about that, obviously. Untapped potential. I'll give the other one to Kyrie. I don't, yeah, I mean, it makes his potential a little bit better, but not much. We go to coach game plan and we're running a nine man rotation. We're leaving anybody important out. No, we're running 10. Okay, so I'm cool with this. This is what our roster is going to look like. So we got Kyrie Irving, Devin Booker, Josh Jackson, Marquise Chris, Joel Embiid, TJ Warren, Mason Plumley, Seth Curry, Tower Ulis, and Allen 
freaking Williams. Let's go, man. This is a nice roster. This is a nice roster. I think we're going to win a damn championship. What about you guys? Um, if we don't... If we don't make the playoffs this year, I honestly will give you all 20 bucks. Not even kidding. Every single one of you guys that are subscribed to my channel, all you have to do is say you're subscribed. I'll give you 20 bucks if we don't make the playoffs. But guess what? We're making the playoffs, guys. So uh, you're not getting 20 bucks from me. All right, so we're at the trade deadline. We're the ninth seed. And I really don't want to give you guys 10 bucks. Um, actually, we're pretty close. Or 20 bucks. Actually, we're pretty close uh, to everybody. Um, when we look at player stats, is there any weakness? Kyrie Irving, Joel Embiid. Devin Booker, TJ Warren. Wow, the numbers are really down for Kyrie Jeesh. Uh, huh. So what should we do here, man? What should we do? Okay. I feel like this team is solid. I don't feel like I need to make any big moves. I feel like I should, though, just ensure we make playoffs. I think we're peaking at the right time, but I'm a little nervous we're not going to make it because I really don't want this rebuild to be where I don't make the playoffs because that would... Just be trash all the way around. <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do. Trade TJ Warren, I guess, maybe. I have no clue. Um, I really don't. Dwight Howard. Hmm. Zach Randolph. I just don't know. I don't know what to do here, guys. Maybe I should just leave it how it is, honestly. Like, maybe just hope and pray. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to not. I'm not going to do anything. Let's just hope and pray. We lost to the Lakers. Let's hope and pray we make the playoffs, guys. Just pray with me, okay? Just for a second. Just for a second. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's make playoffs, buddy. Oh, we're still the ninth seed. We're still the ninth seed. No. No, man. Come on. Get some W's. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. W streak. Let's get a win streak right here. We're still the ninth seed. Okay, now we're the eighth seed. Now, okay. Seventh seed? Yes. Yes. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a bad L. No. Can't take two. No more L's. Oh my gosh, we're still in the playoffs. Okay, get a W. W? W? Yeah, seven seed. Seven seed? No. Okay. Ha. Huh? Oh, okay. Where's. No. Why is it so close? We're like. D don't start losing. We're the seventh seed right now, guys. This game. Clippers lose. I just saw Clippers lose the sixth time yes in a row. Clippers are weak. So hopefully, we can beat the weak Clippers. Let's see what we got. So. We're basically in a game clinch or a clinching game right here. If we don't win this game, we don't make playoffs. Give more minutes, whatever. If you want more minutes, Mason Plumley, fine. They're at home. Let's win the game, though. Let's win the game, though. Yes. Let's win this game, and we go make the playoffs. We have the seventh seed. I don't have to owe you guys 20 bucks at least. I mean, I don't think we win a championship, but still, I don't have to owe you guys money because I made a bet with you all, and, uh, don't have to owe y'all money, even though low-key, even if we didn't make playoffs, I probably would have made it like, oh, just kidding. Um, like, I didn't mean that. Anyway, seventh seed here, we're facing the Houston Rockets. Let's get an upset real quick, man. The Rockets are trash. Chris Paul's overrated. James Harden sucks. Clint Capella's trash. Eric Gordon's stupid. Let's go ahead and get this W. I'm not scared of you. Let's... Okay. Nope. Okay. Okay. Goodbye, guys. All right. Well, that's going to be the end for this video. I shouldn't have not have talked that much trash because I think James Harden and Chris Ball heard me and they decided to go off on me. Kyrie Irving, you should not leave your team. Just saying. Stay with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Although, I think it's a little too late because I think the whole city of Cleveland hates your ass now. Anyway, I'm going to stay with the playoffs, see who wins the championship. And then, uh, what? The, the Pacers are in the finals? The Rockets won the championship. I think I threw feel into the fire for, you know, James Harden and Chris Paul. So, Chris Paul gets his ring. That's it for me, guys. Leave a like if you did enjoy, and subscribe if you haven't already. This is Crushables, and I'm saying peace.